couple of quick comments. So this is the Coast H14 R2 headlight. This one is rechargeable. It's got a micro USB port right there and a lithium battery inside. It claims it has a light on the back, but it's it actually looks brighter on this camera than it is. This light is pretty much useless. You're not even gonna see that barely in the dark. Uh, the main feature with this is this dial that turns super easy. And around here on the front, we've got our, our big headlight and it's angle adjustable and our power switch is right here. The way you focus the beam on this, there's no twisting or anything. You just grab this part and pull, just like that. So the reason I like this light so much is one, it maxes out at 860 lumens, but also all the functions are super quick on it. Um, when you're running around, obviously you're only gonna have one hand free and you might need that hand free to, I don't know, throw something at a car that's about to hit you and your other one on the joystick. So if I'm running around and I got this thing on, oh, by the way too, you can program it. Uh, this light has three different modes. There's low power, high power, and strobe. And you can program it for what you want it to do when you hit the button. So right now I have it set up for single press is full brightness, double press goes into strobe mode. So if we put it in full brightness, you can see pretty bright, but let's say I don't need that. All I have to do is reach back here and turn this dial and now it dims way down. So it just takes a split second. So if I'm running around somewhere and I don't need a whole bunch of light and then suddenly I realize, oh, hey, I need more light. There we go, now we're at full brightness. And same thing with if you need the strobe mode, if it's off, double click the button, now we have our strobe. And you can turn the dial to adjust the strobe rate as well. So I usually tune it to, it goes really fast. So I usually tune it to the most obnoxious possible frequency when I'm in traffic. But the focusing is the other thing that's great about how fast this is. So right now, let me, let's see here, let me turn around. So right now you can see here, we've got a pretty wide beam and to focus it in, you just grab it and there we go. We have pencil beam and it just goes back and forth. This thing just slides in and out. It doesn't matter if you rotate it, um, but it's just sort of a, a friction fit and you can point it wherever you want. So say I'm running around and it's slightly dark, cruising down the road. I see a car coming towards me. I'm crossing a street, it's trying to turn right and they don't see me, all I do is reach up, put it in pencil beam mode, and then I can stick that beam right into their eyeball. And same works with the strobe mode too. Just triple click and now we've got our strobe mode. And you can focus that right down into a little tiny beam. This thing has one more trick up its sleeve though. It has a boost mode. So I believe right now it's about 650 lumens and high, but you can boost it to 860 for about 10 seconds. So let me focus this out all the way. You just push and hold the power button for about three seconds. And it goes into this super ultra bright mode, um, which normally what I do, like when I'm crossing streets and stuff, is I'll put it in boost mode as I'm crossing the street and then have the, the zoom set to right about there. So wherever I look is getting a pretty intense amount of light. But yeah, that's the main thing I like with it. To focus it, just real quick, like that. Adjust your brightness, just like that. Go into strobe mode. That's the main thing. It's fast and you can keep your hands free. You'll definitely wanna read the instructions on this thing though because the programming mode is a little bit tricky on it. Uh, it involves a certain number of clicks and holds uh, with this back button here to enter programming mode. Oh, and it also has a transport lock. So if you press and hold this button, uh, I think about 10 seconds or so, now it's in a transport lock mode. And if you hit the power button, nothing will happen. Because this is also a button back here, and if you throw it into a backpack and that gets pressed, it's going to turn the light on and do a bunch of stuff. So it's nice having that, you know, so you can throw it in a bag. Then same thing, you just press and hold to unlock it. And it'll power up and you're good to go. But yeah, this one, uh, you can run it on, I believe, double A's. Yeah, a bunch of double A's or this lithium battery pack that it comes with. Um, this is 
4,400 milliamp hours. There you can see where four double A's would go in there. Um, however, running it on four double A's, you're not gonna get very much runtime. Um, I think maybe it's like two hours at the very absolute most, and I think that might even be uh, a stretch. But yeah, it is pretty big and chunky, um, and it's kind of a lot of weight on your head. But uh, like I mentioned before, all the features that it has and the ability and the ability to focus it. I mean, look at those optics. Um, that's what makes this thing worth it, in my opinion. And uh, there aren't any other lights like this one that have the intensity adjustment dial and the strobe mode and the ability to customize what the power button does. I think from the factory, it's set up so it's low, high strobe. Um, oh, and you can also set it in a constant current mode too. Uh, if you saw in the video clip earlier, you could probably see the light flickering a little bit with the interference with the camera. You can put it in another mode where it will use more battery, but it won't be flickering. So this is one of the only ones that's customizable like that. And you know, it is a giant thing on your head and it's like a hundred bucks, but I think I've had this thing for about five years now and it's saved me so many times. Um, yeah, this is one of those things like I, I don't skimp out when it comes to like, I consider the safety equipment, you know? Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if Coast actually still makes it or not. I haven't seen it on their website. I have seen it on Amazon uh, for sale brand new, but uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure on that. But regardless, they still honor the warranties on it. And uh, LED Lenser and Coast, um, that's, they're the same company. You can see LED Lenser there. But they're based here in Portland. So anytime I've had issues, I think I had to get this thing, I think I'd have the battery replaced on it once. Or no, 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 the battery was fine. Uh, one of the straps broke. But I took it to another store and they just swapped it out for me. Um, so yeah, this is my favorite light. Um, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link down below. Um, it doesn't cost any extra. I just get a small percentage of someone buying it. But uh, yeah, definitely my pick for uh, safety headlamps when you're running around in the dark.